So I'm working on the Super XL 130 again. And I, I, did, I did decide that I want to do a little more work on the transfers. So that's what I'm doing now. Um, I'm going to see if I can get you a shot of this. But uh, no promises. Because the camera's kind of in my way, if you know what I mean. But we'll see. So I forgot to hit record. But that's all right. I can show you what it looks like right now. I definitely opened the transfers up a bit more, is what I did. We got a little bit of carving to do here in this one spot. Maybe I can bring you in on that. So there's what the transfer looks like right now. There's what the other transfer looks like right now. So I'm a lot happier with the transfers now. I just, I just couldn't do it without hitting the transfers. Which means I got more work to do on the bottom side. So now it's time for the exhaust. Then after that, the crankcase. So let's figure out what I'm gonna do with the exhaust. I gotta clean this out so I can set the exhaust timing in. So I'm going to put this on <coughs> to reset my exhaust timing, but this time I got a ring in it. I got to make sure I start with the cylinder piston down. So I got a ring in it. So now whenever I set the exhaust timing where I want it, the ring will show me where I stopped. Okay, so I ran the ring up. Can you see it? Okay, so you see where the ring is? See where it's sitting? That's how much I'm taking out, just to give you an idea of how little I'm gonna do here. That's the difference between the numbers I'm going to. It isn't much, move, much at all, is it? It only takes a little wee bit. And that's actually, a decent, decent amount. So I always measure the distance from the bottom just because uh, it gives me a reference point to check it, double check it, you know what I mean? Now I'm going to lock it.
All right. Now I have a now I have a way of measuring and making sure I'm at the right place. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So now that I have this set, all I gotta do is stick it down and I'll know when I'm as deep as I wanna go. You know what I mean? That's how I do it. So what do you say we do a little work here? So this is when I'm going to start changing the shape. Uh, I'm going to do a little shape changing on the bottom. I'm going to try to do a little bit on the sides, but I don't have much room to do, do it. But uh, I'm going to work on doing a little shape change in here. I bet you're wondering where I set the uh, timing at, right? I have it sitting at a hundred and one half. Um, and then with the uh, motor seal, it'll be closer to 101. So that's where I have it set. Can't really do much of the width. It's already paper thin between the side of the wall and where the screw would run in. So I'm just going to leave the width alone. But we'll see how she goes. Now I just got to deal with the bottom half. She should have some RPMs and she should pull with some torque. But I got to make sure I get the bottom, the crank space, matched up with these transfers now. That's it for today. Next time I got to do the crankcase, or I might do it. Maybe next time we'll just go right into the install. I mean, it's pretty simple in the crankcase. I just got to match it up with these. Um, I just smear a little grease on there, slap it down on, pull it out, and you can see where it is. Just scribe a line and grind it. I mean, it's pretty simple. Uh, the main thing is when you're grinding the crankcase, you should pull the piston, the crankshaft, and everything. That's what's so involved there. And the grinding itself takes about 15, 20 minutes. So if you don't pull those parts, you end up with metal shavings down in there, getting into the bearings and everything, and you can imagine what will happen. But 
Maybe next time we'll just go straight into the uh, reassembly. What do you think? And I'll get this done. I think the bottom half is pretty self-explanatory. Uh, but we'll see. We'll see where we go. But I'm pretty happy with the way this is sitting now. Those grinds came out so clean that I probably don't even have to uh, chamfer it, but I will anyway. But till next time, later. Hmm.